Hey folks, Captain Dave here, your ugly stick fishing rod ambassador. One of my most popular videos is talking about, in depth, discussing the ugly stick tiger rod. And throughout that, I've kind of kept a theme of being the ambassador. I'm answering the questions that you don't get anywhere on YouTube about ugly sticks, the, rod, uh, the most popular fishing rod on earth. So as being the ambassador, I get some questions thrown at me that I figure I'll, you know, I'll never get to. But there was one that I was asked, what do you like about each kind of ugly stick? Boy, I was starting to think, there, there's a big, that's a real big question there. But I decided to try to tackle it, and I'm going to do it right here in the wolf den. Because I got a bunch of ugly sticks sitting right here in the rack behind me. And I was looking at them, and I was thinking to myself, all right, I'm going to take that one up. So, for you who answered the question, I can't remember your name, I can look it up. But this is for you, and I'm... Probably will end up looking it up. Um, but, you know, that's the funny thing. You go onto YouTube, right, and you look around, and there's really nothing describing each rod. And that's why I think that my, my videos about, you know, the striper rod, the catfish, the, um, the tiger rods, and things like that have been very popular for the sheer fact that when you go to buy one, let's say online, because really, in all reality, there's not many stores that carry a whole bunch of ugly sticks anymore. Because they just really don't have the markup. They're not making the big bucks, okay? They want to sell those big buck rods, all right? Those big buck rods that snap like twigs. Okay, and that's the first thing about using ugly sticks. What does an ugly stick give me, being in the charter fishing business, and I hand a rod to a customer? Well, it gives me confidence. Confidence that they can catch the fish on it, and confidence that it'll come back in one piece. Not that it's going anywhere, it's going two feet away in the boat. But confidence that... They won't be breaking them every time I turn around, okay? So, let's start, though. Even though I did extensive about the Tiger Rods, we'll go back to the Tiger Rods and we'll start there. There's two different types of Tigers. There's just a plain Tiger Rod, and then there's the Tiger Light. But we're going to start with just a plain Tiger Rod. And the ones that I like the most, this is them right here. It's just a foam handle. Uh, it's got these really just durable guides on it. This is the Tiger, uh, Ugly Stick Tiger, that is the medium light seven footer. Medium light seven foot. It's the only one out of the series that has the gimbal. Why did I go to these? And what do I like about this rod in particular is, number one, this one comes with the gimbal. Number two, it's a medium light. Um, it's, a, it's a hefty, gripped rod, okay, for a conventional reel. Of course, they make these in spin, spinners too. I like the guides. And here's what I really liked. This is what I like. This is a, it's a stout rod. With a really, really quick tip on it. Um, I could use these rods for king fishing. Alright, which you always definitely, when you're live bait king fishing, you want to have a real quick tip. Alright, because we're using such small little rigs and small little treble hooks and stuff for, for fishing for king mackerel. But that's the reason why I like this medium light. So, that's that one. Then, you got the, the Tiger 
lights. What do I like about the Tiger lights? I love the handle. I just, I really, I like this, this cork down here. I like the big butt. And I like this little piece of foam right here. It just where your fingers wrap around. All right. This is the Ugly Stick Tiger Light. Medium action. Six feet, nine inches. Again, I matched this up under here, under this. We got Shimano Corrado 300s. Old ones, DSV model, the old silver Corrados. Um, good all around casting rod. They make these a spinner too. But good all around, just super durable with the right action casting rod. If I was, say, sheep's head fishing in, in the winter, in the fall, or something like that, right now with some, with some guys, we'd be using these. Because you can catch a big, big fish on this, but then you can have fun with, with smaller fish too. All right. As you can see right now, I've got half ounce just lead ball headed jig on it. You can pin a shrimp on that, flick it up to our jetty rocks. These guys, these got uh, the really nice ceramic inserted, just Fuji guides, Fuji reel seat, all super quality components. And it's just a very comfortable rod to, to, to fish with. All right. And it's not a long rod. And so it's not unwieldy for people, okay? But why do I like the Ugly Stick Tiger Light? Well, I like it because of the action. And I really love the way they got this handle set up. That's one of the first things I look at is the way the real seat is and how comfortable the rod just feels in my hand. All right? And again, it's a do-all kind of rod. Okay, now let's move down the line here. These are not available anymore. But why do I like, and I just used these in my last video, throwing a big old Uzuri. Why do I like, and I did a video about these, the older ugly stick lights. They don't make them. They don't make them anymore. The reason I like them, they had these, these eyes, these I can't, you can't hurt me eyes, all right? They're not as good as the eyes that are coming on the new stripers and catfishes and, and some of the Elite Series rods that they're making now, but this was their first attempt at a stainless steel inserted eye, all right? And why do I like these? I'm not a huge cork guy, but I like these because, again, good du durable rod, okay? Um, I like the eyes, and I like these for casting big plugs. See, I got this big old Daiwa on here. Okay, this is a late model. Earlier model, medium action, seven foot, ugly stick, light, L-I-T-E. Like I said in another video, you can go buy this damn near exact rod. You can get them at Walmart, walmart.com. The only difference is it's a different color, and it's just going to come with regular eyes instead of the stainless steel inserted eyes. And these they're called the intracoastal rods. Of course you get to this rod and it's got the ugly stick tip. Okay? It's got that tip on it. And that is another thing that's really good about these. That's what's good about a lot of the ugly sticks. Now you gotta remember your tigers don't have this. The tigers got sort of a different blank than many of the other ugly sticks. Alright, so this is a good big plug chucker. So that's what I have the ugly stick lights for. And that's the reason I like them. Alright, so let's go to the next. 
Oh, jeez. I've already done something on these. But why do I love the new, the new striper rod? Well, the reason I love the new striper rod. <laughs> you know, at one time, years and years ago, I actually had super lightweight, uh, all solid glass, believe it or not, solid glass rods with uh, the blank was solid glass. They were set up just like this. They were seven and seven six. And on them, to make them really lightweight, the guy who built them for me put on graphite eyes. So you could hold an entire set of eyes in your hands, and they didn't weigh a thing. Okay? Well, that's what the new Striper reminds me of. The reason I love the new Striper, 7-foot foam grip. I like foam. Gimbal butt. God, I love the gimbal butt. I love it when I stick that rod down in there, and it locks in, and I walk away, and it's not... Rod's not twisting over, falling over. Again, why do I love this rod? Hook holder on the bottom. You can see there's one of my little micro jigs. Now, these eyes. Instead of being an eye with a stainless insert, now the ugly, tough guides are all one piece stainless steel. You know you cannot beat that? Go beat that. Go beat it somewhere. You cannot beat that. That is a durable guide. All right. And I loved it when I had the old version of the striper rods too. But what was always the problem? The guides. They put on chrome guides and those things just didn't last in salt water. But the reason I love this rod it ain't the greatest casting rod in the world. It's not the most finesse rod in the world. When I pick up my striper rod that's seven foot, it has that twang to it. I love that twang. Okay? I love that twang. And here's what I really like about it. That, see that right there? That bend reminds me of the bend in the Ugly Stick logo. All right. That's what I love about this rod. I can say that they're damn near these Ugly Stick stripers. I'm trying to put the hook in the holder. These Ugly Stick stripers are about Utility, versatility, in my opinion, they're kind of lightweight, very lightweight rod. The guides, they exude confidence. I hook a fish, I don't care how big he is. I'm not worried about my rod. I ain't worried about the rod. It will do the job. It will challenge me with a monster fish. All right? And I just like the way it feels. Nice, nice real seat. Got the twang. It's got everything I want. So that's the reason the striper rods right now are probably my favorite rods of all. I love these. Okay. So, next up, what do we got? The kitty cat rod. Here we go. The kitty cat. Same exact thing as the striper. It might have a little longer butt on it. Gimbal. Feels good in the hand. And I mean, you want to talk about a, a rod that exudes confidence. 
My old, my old catfish rods, we would hang eight ounces off the tip of this rod, cast it out, and be hooking 25, 35, 40 pound bull redfish in 45 foot of water, okay? And I mean, just people would have that thing under their arm and just cock back like there was no tomorrow. And these have the I'm going to save your fish from breaking off bend. Okay. Nice arc. Arc. Now notice the difference between, let me just set this right here. This rod arcs. The tiger, different. The tiger stays basically straight down here, and all the bend is right here. All right? That's a big difference. All right? This here is a fish saver, too. But it's got some severe butt, some severe power right down in the blank here. Okay? So that's why we'd probably end up using this rod as an all-day rod at the inlet. <coughs> Excuse me, where you can be hooking almost anything when you're bottom fishing. But I used to do that with these. Let me tell you, some of these fish were a huge challenge. We've had 100-pound black tip sharks on these. No problem. No problem. Would I feel a little more confident with a bigger reel seat? A bigger reel and a little more beefier um, down here in the bottom part of the rod? Yeah, I would. But if I didn't have these, on, if I didn't have my tigers on the boat, or back then I didn't even have the tigers, this is what we were fishing. So, again, the catfish rod exuding durability and confidence. Now, the new ones with the guides, the hook holder on the bottom, and the gimbal, it just doesn't get any better. All right, so got the clear tip up here, but this whole rod does a complete arc. We talked about the ugly stick tiger light being the six foot nine medium action, right? Well, here's its big brother. Here is the ugly stick light tiger light, ugly stick tiger light. It's big, this one's big brother right here. This one is now seven foot. Heavy action. Heavy action. We go cast into a tarpon, cast into a shark, cast into a big fish, cast in a gigantic plug. That's what we're using here. This one proudly sports, totally proudly wears my Daiwa Ryoga shrapnel casting reel. So it's loaded up with like 50 pound or 65 pound braid. Okay. Super casting reel for big, big baits. When you push that thumb bar and you hit this reel, hit this handle to engage, you feel such a massive clicking going on in here. That baby's engaging. All right. So, again... It's got that cork. It's got this little piece of foam right here. I'm sure they, I don't even know if they really actually thought of that when they developed these. But that kind of fills your palm. Alright. This is casting big baits to big fish. I got actually a bottom rig on it right now because of course we're not doing that. But you can bet in the summer. We're out shark fishing or whatever. We're at the inlet, right? And I need to throw a half pound mullet or something, live mullet, dead mullet, chunk mullet, 
I need to throw a big giant plug of giant Yozuri out while we're anchored up to a CUDA or whatever, this is the one that's going to do it. Because now this Ugly Stick Tiger Light casting rod is a heavy action seven foot. So that is what I'd be using this for. What I have on my other one over here, same rod, seven foot, heavy action. The Ryoga fits on that rod absolutely perfect. But what else fits on it absolutely perfect is the Daiwa Saltist 20. The Daiwa Saltist 20. High speed. Six to one gear ratio. Holds a buttload of line. Level wind. Auto engage. This reel just isn't a casting reel like the, the shrapnel is. But this will do the job. We've bottom fished with this. I've got videos. We probably had two, three hundred pound bull sharks on this. We held them. We got him to the boat. And then he just decided to say, adios amigo. Man, I'm telling you, he spooled out this whole spool. But there is a nice setup right there. You want a heavy duty do all and you don't want to break the bank. You get on eBay and you find these saltists. The silver ones don't do this. They don't auto engage. And you can save a little money. But the silver saltist, the black saltist 20s, level wind, matched up with the ugly stick, tiger light, heavy seven footer. You got yourself a stick here for just about anything. So that's the reason why I like the seven foot, heavy action, ugly stick tiger light. Sort of the same reason why I like the medium action. You know, great casting rods, big time great casting rods. This one especially, pitching out big baits to big fish. If I hooked... If I hook a tarpon on this, that rod and reel, or the one with the Ryoga on it, believe me, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not feeling like I'm undergunned. This baby's going to do it. It's going to put the mojo on them. That's for sure. So that is sort of answering one of my subscribers. I don't know if he's a subscriber or not, but a guy that was on. One of my last videos asking when I was talking about the striper rods or something, he said, overall, what do you like about all these ugly sticks? And if I was just going to put it down into one word, I've had, and I'm not going to name names. I was on the pro staff for a humongous high dollar uh, rod building company. Famous, world famous rod company. And I can tell you, I've had... The real seats spin on them. I've had as many as two break in a month in customers' hands. One was on a toadfish stuck in the jetty rocks. And a guy snaps the tip off. That's not going to happen on any of these rods here. That's not going to happen. That's what Ugly Stick gives you. Confidence. <coughs> that you are going to get that fish and you are going to have that rod for a long, long time. There you go. I hope I've answered your question about what I like about what particular ugly sticks. But I can tell you overall what it is. Every one of my ugly sticks, I hand it to a customer. I feel confident. That's what I want. There's never a little a little guy on my shoulder in the back going, Well, you better watch out. If that if that kid just does something wrong, he's gonna snap your rod. It's not a good feeling, it's not good to have a rod handed to somebody in fifteen minutes they snap it in half. Makes them feel, oh geez, I feel like a real heel, you know. 
But there you go. I hope I've answered the questions. And again, thank you for watching.